Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jay from Jay Bliss TV bringing you. Ooh. Hey Bliss Bays, welcome back to my channel. It's Jay from Jay Bliss TV, the channel all about intentionally finding your bliss and finding whatever that means. Whether that is feeling good, looking good, doing good, or being good, I got you. We're on the journey together. And today I'm bringing you some PB with Jay content. And if you're not familiar with what PB with Jay is, that is physical bliss with Jay or physical bliss with Jaquela, which is me. So, if you clicked on this video, you are probably having issues, maybe needing some ideas in regards to the subject of losing weight. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven reasons as to why you are probably not losing weight. Disclaimer losing weight, looking a certain way, that is not super super important to everybody this video is to not attack anybody's body image or anything like that but this video is targeted to people who like me because I'm also on a weight loss journey may need some insight as to why what they've been doing has not been working or are starting the process and these are the things to avoid so one reason probably why you're not losing weight and this is an attack to myself your nutrition sucks okay you are not aware of what's going in your body or maybe you are and you're just ignoring it maybe thinking that it does not have that much of an impact if you work out a ton and I'm here to tell you that it does have an impact it is believed that 80% I'm gonna read this off my phone because I keep getting it wrong <laughs> it is believed that 80% of weight loss is the result of making healthy changes to your diet while the remaining 20% is due to being physically active and that brings me to number two is one of the reasons why you're probably not losing weight is because you are not working out. Now I've seen videos, I've seen articles, I lost 30 pounds without working out, blase, 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 blase. I mean, this is no shade to anybody who's had that journey or who's done that. But eventually, and this is not just as far as losing weight, trying to look a certain way, but to be healthy, you need to put in some sort of physically extensive work in your body okay now that is up to you what you're doing if you're a runner if you're a dancer if you are into yoga whatever it is you need to do some sort of physical activity and of course the best way to maintain weight loss is to build muscle and if your body's physically physically capable of doing exercises that increase your muscle that increase your muscle mass that is definitely a way to, once you've gotten to where you want to be, to maintain that weight or that size is to build muscle because it is more durable than fat. Number three, the third reason why you're probably not losing weight is because you're not consistent, okay? We tend to like, like to do these like fat diets or these challenges, which are always like, I think a sort of good head start depending on what it is. And after that's over, you, you have to do something else. You can't just, you can't just, you know, okay, I lost this this few inches off and now I'm good. No, 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 you gotta keep doing it. It's a lifestyle. You probably hear that from everybody, so I don't really have to go into what that means. But you need to find something, in, and that's diet, number one, and then your exercise, number two, that you, consist, that you can consistently do and enjoy. So find out whatever that is and get consistent. Number four, and a lot of people don't really realize how big this is, is that you probably don't have a community that is supporting you the way you need. And that could be family, friends. I have a gym family that really helps me out, that gets me motivated to see other people like at the gym at five in the morning sometimes, like, and I follow them on social media. It's motivation to me. Or like if I'm slacking or I'm not doing so well, somebody's gonna say something to me. And that goes beyond my gym family, that goes with my family and my friends. Now, I'm not saying that if your friends are not helping you with your weight loss journey that they're not your friends. I'm not saying that. If they are hindering your weight loss journey, they might not be your friends, but support can be anything. Support could literally just them listening to you. And again, everybody does not know what you need. So if your friends are not really paying attention that much or whatever, or you need something for them, your friends, you can ask. Like, hey, can you guys keep me accountable? Like, if you see me eating, Flaming like hot uh, every night. Can you say something? Like you know, something like that. So it's definitely important to build that community if they're already not there. And absolutely find a community. My gym family really helps me with my physical fitness goals as well as my mental fitness, and that is a really big thing for me. 
To segue into number five, which another thing that a lot of people don't really take, um, don't really take seriously is a reason that you're probably not losing weight is because your mental has not aligned yet. And that can mean a number of things. And not talking about mental health in general if you are if you have health issues, that's definitely something that can contribute. But as as a human being, you need to have your mental set in order to get to reach a goal that you want, okay? You can't go into it like, oh, this is gonna be hard. I don't even know if I can do this. You have to say, this is what I want. You have to map out how to get there. Can you do it? Most likely, if you make time for it or you figure it out, if you have the physical capability of losing weight, you can do it. Now, things like, I don't have enough time, blah, 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 you can make time. You know, that is, it all just comes together. And you really need to just, you really, really need to get this part there first. And that's important. Now you can develop and you can get better. Like, I'm not saying you need to be completely there. You're probably not 100% there in your mental when you start. But you need to be, you need to be on that higher end of that percentage of convincing yourself. Because if you're not convinced, why would you get it done? Basically, Getting your mind ready, getting your head wrapped around it, you don't know exactly how it's going to feel to you actually do it, but getting your head set up that you are ready, you are ready for the problems, the issues, the difficulties, the success, the goal reaching, you're ready for that, I mean that's kind of half the battle. The sixth reason, and this, this, this is an attack on myself as well, all these reasons are things that I've either learned from, from experience, like I've already learned it, or I'm still in the midst of wrapping my head around it, okay? And number six is, you think you know everything, okay? And I'm just gonna say, you don't. You really don't. Even if you're an expert, you have so much to learn, you have so much to expand on, and if you're having issues with something, if something's not working, it's probably because you haven't figured it out, that means you don't know everything. So be open, you know, do your due diligence. Have an open ear. If you're on a journey, that means you have not gotten to the destination, which means there are stops and trips along the way that you have to experience, which means you have to learn in order to do so. And I'm not saying that you've tried it for one, two weeks, even a month, even three months which is kind of a long time that you should probably see some progress if you are making really good changes. If it's not working, you probably need to incorporate something else, which means that everything you're doing is not everything that is out there. And that brings me to my last and seventh reason as to why you're probably not losing weight is because you have not consulted an expert. Now, this goes back to what I was just saying in number six is if something is not working, you think you've figured, you think you've tried it all, you're frustrated, you need to seek expertise. And that can be anywhere from hiring a trainer, seeing a nutritionist, seeing a doctor. If you have any connections that you can sort of just kind of like consult with people, if you have friends, like I have a few friends that are in PT school, that went to OT school, that's in med school, that really can tell me, that's in nursing school, that really can tell me more about the body than I know. You know, I know the basics, you know, I went to biology in high school and in college, blah, 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 women tell us, but I don't have that extensive knowledge that they're in the process of learning that they have put in their heads. And sometimes, like, I'm listening to them when they're talking, whatever, even if it's not about losing weight, but if, if there's things about the body that I just need to know that I want to know for myself, I consider that sort of expert help. And I know getting a fitness coach, getting a life coach or nutritionist, or even seeing a doctor is expensive, and I know that money, believe me, I know, you know, sometimes we don't have that to just spend that on things that I, I do see it as a necessity in my life, but I don't have that money to sort of just like throw out there. But even going to YouTube, uh, for people who talk about their experience, going on Google, li uh, reading like articles, going to the library, get a library card, get a book, um, just find different ways. That's expert help. That's going to a resource that you did not have. It does not have to be a physical person. Sometimes that really helps if that's just the way you learn. But just finding other ways, you know? Don't just stick to what you see on your Instagram feed, what's trendy, you know, what is, what's popping right now. Because 
not all the time that is good or true knowledge, but it tends to come in very like short hands and we need to sometimes expand when we want to get somewhere. We need to really sort of just hone in and really focus, even if we don't like doing research. Sometimes we just have to do it and to just get it done. Alright guys, that concludes this video. Let me know in the comments if you related to any of these. Did you feel attacked when I was talking to you? Did I hit something on the head for you? And if not, let me know what else you're thinking. If you have any other ideas, maybe you have something else that I, I, didn't, I didn't include. Please add that in the comments. Let's have a conversation. I'm on my weight loss journey as well, so I'm, I'm trying to listen to myself too. So don't feel alone in this process. Again, going back to that community. This is a community for you. Physical Bliss with Jaquela is a focused topic on my page, so I will continue to upload videos like this as well as workout ideas or nutrition ideas as I go along within the year. If you like this video, if you found this video a little informational, educational, you know, you just like come to see me, please like this video. And if you are not already, please subscribe. It's this side. I know it's this side. I, I always point to this side, but I think it's on this side. Please subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. Okay. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.